modules. Today we are going to assume our series on financial reporting. And today we are going to finalize with our IS40, that is investment property. And yesterday we looked at the first computation and we did some calculations. But today our main focus is going to be on the transfers. If we have transfers which are going to be either from investment property to other properties or they are going to be from other properties to investment in property. Meaning the question we are going to be looking at is a, a small matter that is going to wind up our standard IS 40 and these are going to be the transfers to and flow investment investment properties. And basically when we try to look at some of these transfers, is that they are going to be from investment property or they are going to be to investment in property from other assets. If, and how this comes into existence is in the sense that they are going to be a change in the use of the asset. If the purpose of the asset is going to be changing, how are we going to be accounting for those changes? If maybe the asset has been used for capital appreciation and this time around, you find that the company is going to occupy that asset by itself, or they are going to be selling the asset that has been there for capital appreciation or for earning rental income, and now they are going to sell it in the normal course of business and they are coming in to be inventory. If let's say it was an item of PPE, and now it's going to be converted from owner of pension to earning rental income or for capital appreciation. Those are basically the things we are going to be looking at here. And having understood what you are going to be looking at, as far well as the question we're going to be handling today is concerned, just have to, uh, to have something in mind that whenever we are talking about these transfers, the main challenge is going to be when these assets are moving from investment property. Because when these assets are moving from investment properties, we've seen that when we are handling investment properties, we are using these measurement bases, the cost model and the fair value model. And most of the most of the assets, they have a difference in the model that has been or that is going to be adapted by the organization of how they are going to be accounting for such assets. Because if you try to look at the investment properties, we are, we are going to be using the cost model and the fair value model. But when you try to look at the PPE, you find that that is I16, you find that we are going to be using cost model and devaluation model. So want to look at a scenario whereby, because now if the, if the asset is going to be carried at cost or using the cost model, that one will not bring more problems. But what will happen is that if, if let's say an asset is going to be transferred 
from investment property to IS16, that is PPE, and that asset is now, instead of being carried at cost model, is now being carried using the fair value model. Because by all means, whenever they use the fair value model, it means it's going to create a difference. Because when you try to look at the IS16, we don't have the fair value model being used there to accounting for those items. So our main challenge of what we are supposed to be learning from this video is how are we going to be accounting for these items that have been transferred using the fair value model? Because that's the model that, that is different as far as other standards are concerned. Because when assets are going to be carried using cost model or using their initial cost, there it gives no problem because the treatment are going to be the same. But now we want to look at a scenario whereby if let's say it has been an investment property and it is now going to be carried at fair value, maybe to IS16 PP. So how are we going to be treating that item? Which values are we going to be assigning to that asset when it reaches the PPE? Actually, that's the major outcome of what you are going to be learning from this tutorial. So, Without wasting more time, today I selected to, to handle question. It's a question from it's a question from 2013 June, and it's going to be question five part C. When I analyzed this question, I, I looked at at it in the sense it is a very short number, but it has some broad aspects that we can look at and they will be able to cover the standard as a whole because it has some element of decognition, whereby how do we decognize an item of investment property or an item of IS? 40. That's basically what we are going to also add from what we are going to be getting from this. It's not all about giving solutions for these numbers, but it's all about understanding because whenever I give you something, I make sure that it will help you add something on what you have, you have been knowing. So let's try to dive in the question and try to see what you can have from this question. That's the question five. Part A is all about IS23. That is borrowing cost. Of course, today we are not going to look at that. And even part B is about the borrowing cost. That one we shall handle it in the due course. But for now, let's try to concentrate on this Roman, sorry, the part C of question five, which is a bit brief, but it will give us something. It was a five mark question, but when you try to look at what we are going to be learning from it, it's worth it attempting. So it says that JRK Limited has three properties 
three investment properties in Masaka town, code named one, two, and three. Those are the codes they have, one, two, and three. And the company's policy is to carry its investment property at fair value. That's the model that they are going to be using to account for those investment, those three investment properties. And they are saying that during the year ended 31st May 2013, the company developed property one with the view of selling it by 30th June 20, 2013. Then the same property two was to be disposed of without development, while property three was reoccupied by the company's new branch opened in Masaka on 5th April 2013. Then the required says discuss with the reference to IS40 investment property how the three properties should be presented, recognized and measured in the financials of GRK Limited for the year ended 31st May 2013, five months. When you try to look at what they are asking and try to analyze here we see that we what what they want us to to explain is these three items: the presentation, and whenever you're talking about presentation, we are looking at the financial statements. And mainly these financial statements are going to be balance sheet and the income statement. Then the other one is the recognition. How do we know that we have an item of a given nature. Then the last one is the measurement, which mode or which alternative means is going to be used to account for those items as they are going to be converted or transferred to wherever they are going to be transferred. So that's basically what we are going to be looking at for today. And you can go to the Excel and B, try to see what we can do. But that's basically what the question wants us to do. It says, because we've seen that the, the company JLK Limited had three investment property, meaning all these invest all these assets were investment assets or initially they were accounted for under is 40 investment property but during the year we are seeing that some of these assets are being converted property one is sold is to be sold property two was disposed of Then we are seeing that property three is being reoccupied, or it has been taken over by the by the company where it used that same property as its own branches. So that's basically what we are going to be looking at. And as we discussed yesterday, that when you're looking at these financial financial reporting, most of the things we are going to be doing is not only giving computations, but because now when you try to look at this question, this question has nothing like any figures in it. So it means you explain according what the statement or what the standard says. This is going to be like Bible, where you say this verse, this and this and this, because that's how it was written and that's how it is going to be. Because now 
when you try to look at the required, they are saying discuss with the reference to highest fault. It means whatever you're going to be doing or whichever explanation you are giving, make sure that it is in line with the, what the IS forty investment property says. So for before we, we do anything, of course, we have to, we have analyzed the question and we've actually seen what they want us to do. We've seen the scenarios and we want to look at how are those properties in the scenarios they have presented them. Okay, this is the same question. I just copied it from there, pasted it here, but can try to go to this sheet and we we'll be able to see what, what, what we can do. We said we are going to be having different properties and we have, we start with the property one. Property one, and we've seen that if you try to go back to the question, we are seeing that they, they have said that property one, property one, we property one during the year in the 31st May 20, that in the company developed property one with the view of selling it by 30th June 2013. Actually, when we try to look at the theoretical aspects we first gave in the first video about the IS-40, we discussed that whenever there is a transfer from, because now we are, see, we are seeing that this property is now being developed with the view of selling it by the end of 30th June 2013. So if they are going to be selling that, that asset, it means since all these assets were investment property, it will be a transfer from, from IS-40 investment property to IS-2, that is inventory. Because they have told us that they, that they are going to, the, the company, the company developed property one with the view of selling it. So if they are going to be sell, if they are going to sell it in the normal course of business, then we are, we write it off from the investment properties and we include it in our inventory. So basically, this is going to be a transfer from from IS forty to IS2. And what we said about the, these transfers, we said that whenever we have a transfer from investment property to IS2, we try to look at, we said, we, we look at, whenever we are looking at these assets, we try to look at the purpose of the asset. Now this asset is going to be sold in the normal course of hmm, business. And how, how do we tell that they are going to be selling this asset? Because they have told us that the company is developing these assets with the view of hmm, selling them. What this means is that whenever you are making a sale, if let's say you had a building and whenever you want to sell the, the, a given asset. You have to renovate that asset to make sure that at least it can fetch something from the market. Because when you see that the, the, the company is now developing the asset or it is trying to modify the asset, the extent that it can convince the, the buyers to pay a large lump sum of them, money, which means that we've seen actually the evidence. The evidence is there that they are going to 
sell this asset because they are developing it with the view of selling it by the end of 30th June 2013. So when you are, whenever you are explaining this, you try to look at where is the asset coming from and where is it going? Well, having looked at that, then you have also to have an evidence that at least something is that something is occurring because they have actually told us what they are doing and what they expect by the end of 30th June. So that's the evidence. And we said, then the one of the things that is very important whenever these transfers are happening is that what amount or which amount are we going to use to record these assets? If at all they have been transferred, which amount are we going to be carrying to, to where they are going? If let's say the asset, but now here they have told us the model, it is the company's policy to carry all investment property at fair value. So if they are carried at fair value, we said, for a transfer from investment property to, to IS2 inventory that is carried at fair value, then that fair value or that amount at the date of change in use is going to be its assumed cost under IS, IS2 inventory for subsequent accounting or subsequent measurement. So what does this mean is that it, it gives us that at the, the value of the asset or what the, what the cost, the, the, what we are actually, what we can actually get from the market at the point of change when we are transferring that asset. It is that same place that it's, that we are going to be using to account for that asset when it has been turned into inventory. So that's basically what we what we could do. And those are the things we are going to be writing. So we may go the other side and we we'll try to write exactly what we've we've said. We are saying that that this now we are we are on this property one. We are saying this. This will be. Because here they are saying, remember here, what we are accounting for is for the year ended the 31st May 2013. But this asset, this property one will be sold 30th June. It means this asset, it, they have not yet actually sold it, meaning this asset is still within the other limits. But here we are supposed to say that this asset will be accounted for. The reason why we are saying it will be accounted for because it, they have not actually sold the asset yet. So that's basically what we, we are supposed to be writing. And we are saying that this asset will be accounted for, will be accounted for as, as a transfer from IS40 investment property, IS40 investment property IS for the investment property to IS IS2 inventory then we have to put the evidence
comma evidenced evidenced by development development of development of the property development of the property with the view with the view of selling it by 30th it is 30th june 2013 And try to zoom in. And try to zoom in a bit. By thirtieth June twenty. Twenty thirteen. Then we can also add that. Remember, they have told us to give to give the recognition. We give the presentation and we give the measurement. Let's now try to look at how is it going to be measured. It's going to be measured. We say it will be. It will be measured. At the fair value, because that's the model the, the company adapted to the fair value on the date on the date of change the date of change in use then. Then we we'll try to look at now the presentation. How is it going to be presented? And we say this presentation is all about what figures we are going to be putting in our financials. And we are saying that this, this will be presented Presented under current assets. Remember inventory, those are current assets on inventory. Inventory in the balance sheet. In the balance sheet. as at 31st, 31st May 2013. And that's basically what they wanted us to write about that property one. Then maybe we we'll try to look at the this property too and we see what we can do for it then we'll go to the property two property two remember they told us this property two they put the question and they are saying that property two was was to be disposed of without development meaning it was also not yet disposed but they were going to dispose of by the end of the year course so it means that we are going also to look at how are we going to be accounting for this for this item because we said that whenever this asset for it it is not going to be 
developed any, anyhow. It means it is not going to be falling under inventory. What this means is that this asset, they are going to sell it, whether it is in scrap form, they are going to sell it the way it is. So for it is going to be decarbonized. We are just going to remove it from our investment properties because for it, they, they are not showing that they are going to develop it to turn it into inventory or to be sold in the normal course of business, but they are selling it the way it is. It may be in a scrap form. It may be in a way, in any way it, it is. So it means here we are only going to decarbonize or remove it from our investment properties. So having understood that here we are going to be decarbonizing an investment property, it means this asset is not, is not going to be transferred anywhere. It is going to be sold like the way, like the way they do the normal selling. And whenever, whenever an asset has been disposed of or whenever an asset has been sold, we compute, we compute a gain. Either, either we are going to be having a gain or a loss on disposal, which are going to be taken to the profit and loss. So in our explanation, we have to look at those gains and losses that may arise after the disposal of these assets. And if, if at all we are, we are given figures, you try to compute and see whether you will be having a gain or loss as you got it from your financial accounting on how you can be able to be able to determine your gains and losses. So, Having seen that, then we have to look at what will be the, 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 the condition that shows that this asset is going to be derecognized. Of course, when you are buying these assets, we expect that we are going to be getting future benefits. As we stay with the, while we be with the asset, the asset is going to be used in the business to earn some income to the company. So if at all these benefit or the recognition criteria are not going to be met, because when, when, when you're selling off these assets, it means we are no longer going to be receiving the, the benefits from the asset. So it means if at all we are no longer receiving the benefits, it means we have to recognize it means we have actually recognized the asset since it is no longer meeting the cognition criteria. So that's basically the, 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 the things we are, we are going to be doing and we try to maybe to to put to write something on what we we actually discussed. We, say, we are saying that, that this company, it's called J, JRK Limited. This JRK Limited will continue, will continue, will continue presenting. Let's start with the presentation. We will continue presenting presenting this asset or we will continue presenting it as an investment investment property investment property under non current assets and current assets and i want you to get 
is very clear. The difference between property one and property two is that the other property one was, was renovated and they wanted to sell it in the normal course of business. That's why it was taken to inventory. But this property two, for it, it was sold without any development. It means that this asset, before they sold it, it was still an investment. They sold it as an investment property. So it means for this one, we are just going to be recognizing it. It's not, it's not a transfer, nor whatever. It is just the asset has been sold like any way they can sell, maybe a scrapped car or that. So having known how this is going to be presented, then we'll be knowing which values are we going to be assigning to that. And knowing these values, we are going to be using the cost model because that's the, the, the model that we are adapted by this company, JALA K Limited. Then we can also add and say, and it will it will be it will be measured. It will be measured at fair value. At fair value when it's or when it is disposed in, disposed of disposed of in the future because they haven't yet sold it. Then maybe the last one it will also it will be recognized and the entity the entity will determine will it determine again or loss or loss on this portion, which will be taken which will be taken to the income statement or profit and loss. Profit or loss account. If it is again, it will be taken as an income. It will be taken as an income because for it, it is realized since we are using the fair value. Remember, we said this fair value gains goes to the profit and loss. So, that's basically what we could talk about as far as So that's what we could talk about 
as far as property two is concerned. So let's try to look at our property. Property three. Let's look at the property three. Now this property three, they told us that the, the property three was occupied by the company, the company's new branch opened in Masaka on 5th April 2013. If this property was occupied by the company, it means it's now going to be converted from investment property to PPE. Because we said with PPE, those are the assets that are going to be used by the administration or that are going to be used by the organization itself, the production and supply of goods and the services. So if it is so, then we are going to look at a transfer from investment property to PPE. So we can try to write something here and we say that this will be this will be accounted for accounted for as a transfer. from investment is from IS40 investment property to IS16 PPE property plant and the equipment. Then we have also to put the evidence and evidenced evidenced by reoccupation reoccupation by the by the companies, companies new branch by the company's new branch opened opened in Masaka on 5th on 5th April 20, 2013 then we try to look at how is it going to be measured it will be It will be measured at fair value at fair value on the date of change of change in the use.
then we can we can try to talk about the presentation and will be will be presented presented as PPE the balance sheet. Balance sheet as at thirty first May twenty thirteen. So that's basically what they had asked, but you can add on because we expect that since this asset is going to be carried at fair value, they are going to be a scenario whereby this asset is going to come in as a PPE. But remember, in the PPE, we don't have a fair value. So what that means, it means that the change, the change in the prices between the carrying amount of the asset and, uh, and investment property and the fair value or the actual price they have paid to acquire the asset. That one is going to be accounted for as a revaluation. And that revaluation will be taken to the OCI as a, in terms of revaluation gain. And if it is a loss, then it will be taken to the profit and loss account as an expense. So that's basically you can add on the change, the change in the value, change in the fair value the change in the value will be accounted for as a revaluation. evaluation because we said this one is going to be treated as a revaluation because well it's like we've not actually realized it because within the ppe we only have a revaluation so when it becomes a ppe we will take it as if the asset has been revalued and if the asset has been revalued we do it in the normal way we've been doing the revaluation under IA16 PPE. So that's basically what I wanted you guys to have. And this brings to a conclusion of the, the standard. And I guess you've learned so many things and you can be able to handle most of the challenging questions that are going to be coming from this according to what I've given you, because I believe in what I've given you is something that can be able to create a momentum for you to be able to handle any question from this standard. So with that, we are going to, in the next video, we are going to start to start computing or starting calculation on IS20, that is accounting for government grants and disclosure of government assistance. So when you start on that, then you can see what we can do and be able to understand or enhance our learning and be able to understand more and more of how we can do certain things within financial reporting. Add you guys to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell icon so that you can be able to get to be notified whenever I upload new videos on our series as we started them. I call them series because we are going a step by step and we are learning from 
we are able to pick knowledge freely from the start to the end. And if you join me, we are going to be having something that is going to be productive and you'll be able to learn, improve your understanding, even if you're not going to be doing exams, but at least these are the things people do in their daily work as far as accounting profession is concerned. So with that, I wish you the best and it's a bye for now.